Imagine what it could be like if you could literally cast a spell that allows you to understand and speak to all the animals on our planet. This would truly be something that only a god could do, right? Then imagine you yourself could possess the power of the gods. What if there is such a book on this earth that literally allows the user to obtain the means to decipher the ancient secrets and master the earth, the sea, the air, and the celestial bodies? In ancient Egypt, pre-dynastic, there was a god that existed. His gift to humankind was in the form of a sacred book that is now the most mysterious book ever mentioned in history. A book that had all the answers to every question in the universe. The key to understanding higher knowledge. According to historical records, the Book of Thoth was a collection of ancient Egyptian texts which were written by Thoth himself. They include numerous texts that were claimed to exist by ancient authors and a magical book that appears in Egyptian works of fiction. There is little doubt that it actually existed because it appears in a wide range of diverse papyri that have been found spread across the region. Wait do you hear this. The Book of Thoth is cited for the first time in the Taurus Papyrus. It describes a failed attempt to kill a pharaoh using a series of spells taken from the book. The book was hidden because of the overwhelming power it contains, probably to stop it falling into the wrong hands or someone who would seek to conquer. But there is an ancient text which describes where it would be found. It reads as follows. Incredibly, there were many attempts to recover the book. Neferkapta was the one who succeeded and he paid a terrible price. The gods killed all his family and tormented the young prince until he committed suicide. The book was entombed along with the prince. A final punishment from the gods enslaved the prince's ghost to protect the book until the end of time. But as time slipped by, the allure of the book was far too tempting and more attempts were made to steal the book. The book was once again seized, and again the gods were angered, but the ghost of Prince Neferkapta was still set to task. After more torment, the person in possession of the book returned the book to the tomb, and the tomb was again sealed for all time. This reflects the fact that the knowledge of the gods is not meant for ordinary human beings. It was believed that he who read the contents of the book would obtain the means to decipher and master secrets related to the earth, the sea, the air, and the celestial bodies. It also conferred the faculty of assimilating the language of animals, giving life back to the dead, and acting on distant and nearby minds. Incredibly, researchers have made a connection between the Hall of Records and the Book of Thoth being beneath the Sphinx. With the entrance to a staircase being on the head of the Sphinx, this is further supported by the fact that there are now two known chambers under the Sphinx. It is amazing to think there could still exist something here that could have been placed here over 12,000 years ago. Something so important they couldn't simply destroy it, but the people at the time were forbidden from possessing this knowledge. Does this mean it was preserved for the future of humanity? Who knows? What do you guys think of the Book of Thought? Comments below and thank you for watching.